Okay, I just want to show you some interesting things you can do with the PDF Exchange Portal Book. If we double click on that, here's the PDF Exchange. Double click on the red icon, that will bring up the toolbar. Now, to put a book here, you can simply, here I've opened Quest 5. Can simply drag the Quest student book on top, and there it is. Or you can go to the open, look for the file, and I will add the X activity book. And you'll notice you have different views, you can play around with that. You can have wide to the page. Or, or to the width of the two pages. You can have single page here at the bottom, um, or scroll, where it will scroll halfway on one page, halfway on another, or the double view again, and the double view scroll. Obviously, it's useful, like for this page, it's nice to have the the double view, you can see the whole page, but you can also uh, zoom in to specific areas. Now the first part we can look at is the zoom tools. So if we have a look at this box, say we want to zoom into this song, you can simply click on the square, left click, hold down, and you've zoomed in. And Remember, it's still on the circle, so I'll go back to the hand tool and you can move around. Now, let's have a look at these places where we can edit a document. So, arrows you can put and draw, and you notice if I click on that arrow, up comes here, keep selected. The only difference is, is that I've constantly got arrows if I want them. Now you may think this arrow is a bit thick. So if you want to change the thickness permanently, you need to click on any of the icons, go to the uh, properties, and here you'll notice that you can simply select uh, four point, I can change that to two point, and it should change them. This is mainly because you'll notice I don't have the custom anymore. You have to click on the actual icon, and there you've got custom. I could go back to default, and then it will use the default, which was, uh, hang on, let's have a look, the default. Um, which was two point, I think. So I'll just leave it on custom because I like that size. Um, that goes for all of these things. So I have the oval, focus on this word, it's a bit thin. To change that, click on the actual icon and make it. Um, thicker, let's say, three point, and choose that as a custom. So now I can do sing and hello. And remember, these are all constant. Click on the icon again, up, and you can say keep selected. So that's those tools. The next one I'd like to focus on is the text box. This is very good. Uh, I'll just get rid of these red icons by going Control Z to the backwards. Go backwards. The text box. Again, I've clicked on this in the properties. Originally, it was uh, one point. So, whenever you drew a text box, you would get this red outline. 
So if you wanted to hide a few words to get those students to guess, or if you wanted to hide some objects and say, do you remember what these objects were? There will be a red box. That might not bother you. Uh, that's okay. Uh, I don't like it. I prefer to have no red line. The only way to do this is to click on that text box, go to the width, which is a point, and say no point, and keep it as custom. So that's how I want it. So from now on, if I do this, and there's, there will be no boxes around it. You can also write in these boxes, if you have any interest to do that, and change the font as well. So you can write as much as you like and change the uh, size accordingly. So here you can drag it out. But I just like using the boxes to hide things. What color were her shoes? Can you remember? And then later you just go to the hand tool, click on it, and simply cut it or use the the delete key to delete it. So I'm gonna go control Z again, get rid of all the editing I've done. And obviously if you had a tablet with a pencil you could simply draw around things. Um, you could even draw arrows which might be easier than the other thing but you probably don't have that. What I do like is the typewriter. Now the typewriter is handy because if, let's say here, we go here, let's click on the control, and say I want them to write what the sentence should be, and especially those who finish early, I uh, it's a good idea to get yourself a Logitech keyboard that is a Wi-Fi or Bluetooth keyboard and you can simply put the US a small USB linker with the keyboard and it's you don't, you don't have any cables you can simply give the keyboard to one of the children to write in the answers and here we click on typewriter. You'll notice that I've got a choice of the width and the font, but uh, in order to get the properties up, you can click here. At the moment, if we use the typewriter, let's say we put the X here, and I type, uh, let's say John is hungry, hungry and then click away that looks okay but and you can click and move it you can double click inside edit it again I much prefer there is a font that's similar to this and if you click in the typewriter again on it first of all I like to change the color and second of all, I like to change the uh, font, which is Korean New. There's one called, it begins with S. Where is it? This, Segoa Se script. It's really nice looking, and it looks very similar to the way uh, they write here. So if we click on that and do the next one, who loves mushrooms? Let's see, Mary loves mushrooms. Now that looks a lot better. And remember, you can always make the, the font a little larger, but remember always to click on the typewriter icon first. 
select the 12 point, go to 14, you can call it custom. And now, what has a surprise pizza got? You can say apples. And there you have uh, a way of writing the answers. I suppose if you really wanted to as well, you could also um, hide the answer. You could simply go like that hide the answer and then when you come to class you can say who loves mushrooms yes you're correct press the delete key and there it is but it's much more fun to get the kids to write in that okay so we've looked at the lines the text box the typewriter and now for the piece de resistance we're going to look at um, how to make a blank document with parts of a text from different books that you like. So, first of all, let's have a look. Here's um, the Quest book. Now, in order to flick through it to the page I want, let's have a look at this writing. Sometimes, you now I'm holding Control down using the wheel mouse to zoom in, use the hand to, now sometimes I, I show that on the screen, but if it's not possible, instead of printing out that whole page, when you don't really need the quiz, you just need this small part, what you can do is, what I like to do is, zoom in, to the area you wish to edit and make a new file. So go File, New Document, Blank Page. It usually comes out A4. Okay, there's my new page. So I go back here and I use the Photograph Snapshot tool. So what I can do is I can make a photograph of sorts like this where I have the letter okay I've taken a photograph of that go back to the document right click and just paste and there is my letter and what's good about this is not only I can put two of them on one page and print it, but because it's so annoyingly at an angle, you can use this green button to spin it. Now, if you're not sure if you've got it exact, I think there is um, a way to have a look at uh, a text on here but we won't worry about that now all we know is we can move it like this and if i so wanted i could even take a picture of this and do it again so now it's more square i could take a picture of this and i could simply just whoops didn't mean to do that paste it there so I could simply take a picture oops Control Z. Um, I can take a picture of this and remember to go back to the hand tool and click Control V and now I have two on one page and I can even make them a little larger again if I want to select each one
Let's try again, open a new document, blank page, uh, control V, there's my page, let's click control V again, and there's another one. And now I've got two of them, and I can make them a bit larger. And then this saves on paper, so you can print the two out, and also you can zoom in and write on the board, again highlighting letters. So, uh, one or two things more, if I remember, if there is, uh, you have any document in you want but you just want to take one page from this document you have that ability here by going uh, document extract page or insert page so we can extract this page the current page and I can simply Uh, let's do that again. Uh, extract document, extract pages, the current page, um, copy comments, flatten, copy all, delete page after extraction. Don't want to do that. Save all extracted pages as one file in case you pick one or two. Uh, destination folder, it will go to my documents and that will be the name so open destination folder with the result so i go ok and save as and we'll save it as uh, quest b um, page 5 so page 5 save so now if I go to my documents, there it is. I think that was the other one as well. Yeah, there was the other one page, and I saved it before. Um, so you can extract individual pages. The last thing I'd like to show you on this is it's handy when you're doing these preliminary school trainer books. So for instance, let's go to this, this zoom again. Sometimes you might be doing an exercise where you like here, but the text is here, but the answers are on the next page. So a good way to do that so I can you can view it is put it in the single page mode with the roll. Not this one because it would just flip. So this one where it rolls to the next page. And using your control and wheel you can zoom in. But you'll notice that here we, I, I want to see this. But I want to see this at the same time. And a great action on here is one where you can split the document. So if you go to Windows, you can split the horizontal document, and then what you've got is the this one's on page 26, so we'll bring this one to page 27, and here we have the answers to compare. So if we're trying to do the work with the students on the board, we can say, OK, so what's number 26? Well, on number 26, you have these choices. And then as you go down to number 33, you can simply roll up to number 33 and look at it together, explaining to them why the other words don't fit. This is such a brilliant tool. I hope you enjoy using the PDF exchange um, and let me know if you have any questions.